Hello and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K and Tat, we have another Bell's beer. We have Bell's Lampshade Party Ale. It's really called Party Ale. I just realized that. Uh, <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Um, I mean, it's, a, it's I don't not know. really a party unless somebody's got a lampshade on their head, right? I also don't know if I'd call a double India Pell Ale a party, party beer. <laughs> I mean, it is 9%, so somebody's going to I did not realize it was going to be a double IPA. I thought it was going to be a Pilsner. It's got a Polaroid camera on the, on the uh, cap. Absolutely necessary. I, I, I kind of like this beer. For some more of the nostalgia vibe. Like, the, the front of it is very nostalgic. It's, it's, it's definitely trying to, uh, to play on nostalgia. That's what color that is. Uh, specifically nostalgia of somebody who's 10 years probably older than us. Jeez, that's fair. like almost orange. What is a double? doesn't have the IBUs on it, but if it's a double, it's probably hefty. Hefty? Thick? That really... Uh, yeah. I, I'm going to say that is orange, actually. It that's... does only have a three-month shelf life. But we still have a whole month left on it, so we are good. Um, yeah, it's thick. Got a lot of... A little bit of particulate in there. Kind of big chunkies. That's a beer. That smells delicious. That's a beer. Very hop forward, very floral. Lots of citrus in there. Like There's like some orange. Orange and grapefruit and, juice. Yeah, grapefruit. Like juice. It's not just grapefruit, like the juice. A little bit of lemon. Like uh -huh. maybe some lemon zest floating in this. A little bit of pine trees. Pine. Well, all right, well, I need to drink this. So. I don't think it's even a little bit of pine. There's There's a substantial amount of pine. Oh, yeah. That's a double IPA, boy. That's Garthy. Man, it's been a while since we've had just like a an IPA. Well, it's a double, so it's a big one. Well, yeah, a double IPA. But the last one, the last couple we've had are like, uh, uh, it's, it's it's an IPA with, with something, uh, some other flavor well, hazy, in it. Well, Hazy is really popular right now. Yeah. So, true. whew, that bitterness gets you. Um, so... IPAs tend to be bitter, but not super. Double IPAs are very, very bitter, but when you get into the Imperial or Triple IPAs, mm -hmm. they have more hops than doubles, but when you get that hop forward, the hoppiness tends to turn into like a sweet floral flavor and less of a strong bitterness because of all the malts and additional stuff they add to that beer. This one, however, because it's just a double, the hop level is enormous. Like, I feel the like... bitterness level is high. I feel like this is ideal for the people who were... Uh... Getting around with the with the the beards and the scarves and the little woolly caps in like 2017, 2018, when they were like, "Oh, I'm into craft beer, you know. I, I drink lots of IPA." That is exactly what they were talking about. This is the most hipstery tasting IPA I've had in really like all of last year. At least. This is very IPA. But to be fair, like everybody this. was doing hazies last year. That was the thing. A West Coast hazy IPA. <sighs> this, on the other hand, is a good old-fashioned double IPA. Uh, old-fashioned. It's... Ouch. To be fair, <laughs> when, you know, you're, you're talking the early 2000s is when IPAs first yeah. came out. And they started... Yeah. They kind of stuck around. Like, this past few years, or it was sours. Now it's... Seltzers. <laughs> And, and hazy IPAs in the beer community, but this is a good double IPA. Now, like That's I said, nice, yeah. if you don't like super, super bitter beers, this one, it'll kick you with the bitterness. Like, you drink it, it tastes, you get those There's hops in this. delicious IPA flavors, and that after taste of hops is is big. There's it's hops in this. Big. That's, that's, that's what I just keep, in my mind, I keep on coming back to, man, the hops are real. Like, I guess what it is is I've, I've I've had too many like uh, like hazy IPAs and like just off off brand IPAs. I haven't had an IPA like a real honest to god IPA in entirely too long. That's not nice. uh, great beer. Uh, I don't know. I cannot remember the price on it off the top of my head. I have the receipt somewhere. I know it wasn't too bad. Bell's is always pretty reasonable. They're, I've never seen their beers. The most I've ever seen their beers is twelve ninety nine. Yeah. For a thirteen pack, or it's a, it's a six pack. Jeez. A thirteen pack. Twelve ninety nine. Uh, for a six pack, and this is this is a nine percent. Where are you getting your beer? Double IPA. So uh, it's a big it's a big beer. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this. Uh, eight. An eight. Because it's as far as a double IPA goes, it's it's everything you want in a double IPA. 
availability and price because I heard um, from a few of our fans that this beer is kind of hard to find even in their actual home state. Mm. Um, people are like, wait, how do you have that? Because we can't even get it in our own state. I'm like, well, I, I bought it. so I'm giving this a nine. This is, this is what a double IPA should be. It is only a double IPA. It is, it is an example that I would give to somebody if I was like, have you ever had a double IPA? No. What do they taste like? They taste like, they taste like this beer. That's what a double IPA tastes like. As far as the style goes, that's a nine. That's that's fantastic. It's I a, like it. It's a great beer, yeah. Um, and Bell's always does good stuff, like I said. Um, looking forward to trying some of the other beers. Definitely like the bottle. Love the cap. <laughs> um, you know, I was hesitant when I bought this one because I was like, eh. No. It looks gimmicky. Yeah, but it is. It, it, it pulls through, for sure. Especially Uncle Rick and not Linda. It, it's weird that they decided to go with like a early 80s, late 70s vibe. Yeah. And this is like a... Like a 2016, 2017 style beer, uh, and it's 2021, <laughs> and they are, but they're get, but the thing is, they're gearing this. Their audience is probably in their 40s, so for this beer, so late 30s, early, you know, out of a, you know, I think they're aiming this at people who are hipsters in the in like the early the middleish 2000s. Mm. <laughs> they 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 kind of rotated from hipsters to like more like yuppies again more yuppies now again like they were like in the 90s there's a yuppies. word i haven't heard in a while you know we y yuppies <laughs> were like in the 90s and then now then they went to hipsters now they're back to being sort of like yuppies you know i think that's correct yeah i think your terminology is actually spot on yeah we're, we're back to yuppies <laughs> hipsters come back don't worry oh man. hams will be the new hipster beer though unfortunately i think you know what that's that's fine i'm okay with that hams is a good beer it is until they make it 21 dollars for the i'll race. start murdering people if they oh, yeah. do that I really will. I'll be very mad. All right. Well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you leave a comment right there. Don't forget to hit that like button. You can check us out on Facebook, Patreon, Instagram, and our website. I'm Special K. And I'm, I'm out of beer. Thank Hang you.